Hey, uh, uh, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh say, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh say, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh say. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honor to you, brothers. Oh, praise unto Yahweh, I assume you are say. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, honor to you, brothers, that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, I wanted to do this video right here um, because if you're looking at um, the markets, the economic markets, the global economic markets out there, and you're trying to get a gauge what type of um, economy or uh, point in the economy that we're at, whether that's in a recession, uh, whether we are, uh, the, you know, the market's growing, okay, or the strength of the you know, dollar pound is increasing. Um, I think the best, or, or good, good measure, not necessarily the best, but good measure is to um, is to see uh, the number of uh, defaults in loans across the board, and especially student loans um, across the market and across the globe. Because pretty much what you're going to see from this article is um, um, when you understand how a student loan works and how it defaults, then basically you can pretty much uh, get a good, if not, uh, uh, um, if not a, 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 an accurate feel for how the economy has been doing for a certain amount of time. So when you have a, a student loan, you uh, borrow a certain amount of money for you to study as a young man or woman, okay? And you go to study and the, um, the, the understanding of that loan is that you're going to pay that money back, okay, when you are uh, earning a certain amount. And that money defaults, okay, when you get to a certain uh, amount of time, well, after a certain dispensation of time, okay, if you can't uh, afford to uh, pay that loan, okay, then that loan is defaulted. That is to say, you don't have to pay it back. So, if you have it to where 100% of all student loans are being paid off, what could be accurately assumed is that you have a booming market, a booming economy, because everybody is meeting up with their creditors. Okay, the same thing works with the housing market. If you have a housing boom, not necessarily a housing boom, because really a housing boom is reflected by, um, is a reflective, there is a reflection of uh, interest and um, uh, times where you have high interest and low interest okay uh, uh where it's um made to um uh to attract customers but pretty much when you have a, a, a um um a low interest period you can you you're going to have a housing boom um but because you have cheap mortgages but remember you got to remortgage every so often so when you have it to where people are um defaulting on that mortgage then you can pretty much say that the economy is not in a good state okay so uh, hopefully that that makes uh some type of sense but uh, applying the same theory back to these student loans if you got uh, a 10 years to pay that student loan back otherwise you default and we say 40 percent of uh people are defaulting on that that means to say 40 40 percent of university uh students are not finding the work okay so that they could uh, pay back that loan over a 10 period year that means to say the economy is doing pretty damn bad, okay? It's doing pretty damn bad. We're not talking about your average Joe, it's about your, your so-called uh, uh, affluent, uh, in, not, you know, middle class, because affluent, affluent students would tend to, which is, you know, the, the upper echelon of society, they tend to pay, uh, pay without the need of credit, okay? They tend to pay cash up front, okay? Uh, but for the middle class, uh, you would have to get your loan because it costs to do business, okay, and a student, uh, 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 some, you know, if you get the right degree, okay, that could be uh, very um, useful, okay, uh, 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 going further. So let's go into this, let's get into this. It says, as, as the student loan uh, bubble continues to burst, record numbers of Americans enrolling in government subsidized student loans, debt forgiveness plans, okay, known as income-driven repayments, which was uh, what I was explaining a second ago, um, are on track to send a U.S. student loan program into a negative territory, according to the report of the Department of Education Inspector General. Okay, so that's kind of explanatory, uh, self-explanatory. I've explained most of it as the um, intro to this video. Okay, so let's carry on. 
It says um, the plans known as income driven repayments set monthly repayments as a percentage of the borrower's earning and typically forgives the balance after 10 to 25 years. Okay, uh, depending on the borrower's career field and the amount. Okay, so you, 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 you get a loan, you know, I don't know, 25,000, 45,000, whatever. And you have a, a, um, a system, and the same thing applies out here within the UK. You, you get a certain amount of uh, 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 debt you acquire to go to study, and then that debt's broken down into, um, you know, uh, into monthly repayments. And you have a, 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 a um, uh, uh, the government will pay up, okay, after if you can't. If you can't, if you default, okay, if you can't pay that after 10 to 25 years, okay. So overall borrowers in income in income driven repayments will pay less than what they originally borrowed. Uh, said, uh, said the draining, said uh, uh, the report said, draining the program of billion of billions of dollars in expected revenue. Okay, it says as we reported last month, nearly. 40% of student loans taken out in 2004 made default by 2023. That's 40%. Okay, so let's put that into mathematical perspective. Okay, and we apply context uh, to that because context, uh, statistics without context could truly be misleading. Okay, statistics without context can truly be misleading. What does this 40% really mean? That means to say from to, from to, uh, 2004 to two, uh, uh, a loan was taken around about the period of time in 2004, okay, uh, um, which was expected to be repaid by 2023, okay, are gonna default, okay. So this um, repayment scheme, pretty much any job that you apply for, especially out there in the UK, the minute you start earning, that money's taken out your 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 paycheck. So it's not a thing of people are, 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 are just not paying it back this is a thing of people ain't got no work they ain't got no money okay the the, the 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 job economy the job market is dwindling okay it's it's on a downward spiral okay All right that's what this that's what this that's what this is saying and um really what's not reflected is um and I suppose this is where you can have it to where it's a bit misleading because no one has actually said the job market has increased by a certain amount. Okay, and versus that of which, uh, or de increase or decrease. And then uh, I told these people that borrowed loans, uh, uh, um, you know, you're going to get a job out after this. Okay, so, so that's where the bit, that's misleading. So if I really try to explain that, that is to say, uh, let's say you have an increased uh population going to our uh, university okay but not necessarily an increase in the amount of jobs out there so you can have you can be misled by that you can say that you could say uh, that could be uh, an assumption that i've made so we're assuming here okay uh, uh that um uh the number of people that actually studying has remained the same okay since prior to 2004 that's the assumption that's the key assumption okay and i'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty much nine on nine the same now obviously you know there's been an increase in people studying and so on and so forth so uh, uh, um but uh, uh, there's more uh, uh, evidence to show that the market is really slowing down than um than um people are going to study okay so uh, in, in any case okay we can safely come to the conclusion that uh, um, uh, that um, this 40% default okay is due to in part okay uh, in part is due to a uh, 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 dwindling uh, uh, economic drivers okay but like I said in part it's got to be due down to um, the um, the increase in the amount of people that are actually studying and going to uni but they, but they're finding out is the, the jobs and careers uh, 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 the amount of jobs that you have haven't actually increased so uh, um you know you have to factor that in as well okay so let's carry on here it says overall borrowers in income driven repayments will repay less than, oh so we read that so it says uh, uh, according to the report so this is uh, this is it says, it says nearly 40 percent of all student loans taken out 2004 made the fall by 2023 according to a report by the brookings institution blowing past over previous projections okay so it's a lot of people that can't can't make those that, that, that can't make that um uh, make that money back. Okay, it says of not approximately five percent of undergraduates took a private student loan in two thousand and four, which swelled to fourteen percent undergraduates by 20, 2008. 
okay about two million well, about three million students according to uh that website over there it says and private student loans as opposed to federal student loans are unable to participate in income driven repayments the federal reserve uh, the federal student loan system had originally been projected to turn a profit of 25 billion on all of its loans so that means to say they, you know the principal was paid back by interest and it was supposed to turn because when you have a, a, a you know a loan shark you're in the game of when you're in business and you're a loan shark you're in the business of making money okay so when you're borrowing out money you're 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 expecting that to come back with um with interest usury according to the scriptures okay so it says there um on all loans made up uh to uh up to uh september 30 2015 however the number has um been raised down to five billion <laughs> i mean um that means man there's a lot of people out there that just can't get to work okay there's just no jobs okay like i said i haven't you know really what you have to uh, we're assuming here okay that the amount of jobs is decreasing not the, uh, as opposed to the amount of people that are studying it is, is ex exponentially increasing because if you got it to where exponential increase in jobs is out there and you got it to where uh, you got, got booming uh you got it to where you got uh, um um the same amount of jobs well of course you're not gonna have uh, the, those 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 uh, loans repaid because you've got the same amount of jobs okay you've gone to study to work in the same place where the amount of jobs has always been the same okay but obviously it's gonna be obviously you got to factor that in okay so uh, um so you got it to where um you know that's a whole you know 20 billion that was expected to be uh pocketed that's not getting pocketed okay and that goes just goes to show you at the very least okay um you know the student studying is a bit is a scam at the very least and we can almost and i say almost uh safely assume that the um the jobs market is not reflected in the amount of people that are going out there to study okay and it's more likely uh um or no you well, we could say this uh, uh if you've got population uh uh, uh uh 40 percent of the population is not working and they've taken out all kind of loans then we can safely assume that you know the jobs are dwindling okay so hopefully that was over the edification anyway um our laws will see you on the next one. Oh, praise unto Yahweh Hashem. I said, double honesty, apostle of great millstone, and honesty, brothers, will be pushing this truth in uh, truth in sincerity. So the one.